What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at some Inside the Mind gameplay. What we hope to do with this um, is, is to play a game of Madden 16, but what we really hope to, that you're going to get out of this is that um, you're able to kind of get inside of my head some of the things that I'm thinking as I go through, and maybe you can learn a little bit from my mistakes and also learn a little bit from my... Uh, from my uh, failures, so uh, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this. But uh, anyways, guys, um, really excited to bring this to you. Uh, this is by far my favorite series to do. Uh, the playbooks we're going to be utilizing um, for this is the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook and the New England Patriots um, defensive book. So, uh, so we'll take a look into that. But um, yeah, really excited to uh, to bring this to you guys. It's like I said, it's it's probably my favorite series. Um, so really, all we're trying to do is um all we're trying to do is is, is, is simply just pound you know you know just kind of go through here uh, what we want to start off I, I like to start off with the fullback inside and, and we get a nice little double juke and, and go in uh, and go ahead and get a huge gain from Tavon Austin there but um but yeah that's that's really the the heart of what we're gonna do a lot of um, but uh, anyway uh, so so you know, really, I like to start it with that fullback inside. The reason is because the split close is a popular formation this year. It's, it, and and I really like it. It's it, it's very effective. Um, but one of the things that go into it that make it, and we're gonna have a little issue here getting the snap off because I think we're having a little lag. But um, we'll take a look at this here. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and go down into our uh, single back bunch. Uh, base set. Now this set is what we like to do. We like to run the ball out of this um, and, and really you know from here you know at the 15 yard line I mean this is really a good opportunity for us to maybe pound the rock uh, and, and try to get in. Um, so that's really what we're looking to do right here. Uh, you know this is a really good way to start the game. I mean getting a big play out. Um, you know I we kind of script our first play as that fullback inside most of the time, uh, and, and we normally actually have some pretty good success with it. So uh, here we're going to get a nice little quick pitch out to Dre Archer. Um, I'm starting to really, really like this little running scheme I have out of Arizona's playbook. And um, if you guys enjoy the offense that you're going to see today, um, you can actually check that out. It's only $10 right now. It's on sale. You can check it out in our description. Um, but one of the reasons I like this so much is just because it's it's very simple to run the ball effectively um, from a formation that, you know, I don't really see a whole lot of people running. Um, I see a lot of, like, fullback dive, you know, halfback pitch kind of thing. But... The way I kind of run this one is it's a, you know, it's inside zone. It's, it, you know, you have that capability here. You're going to see that. But the uh, other thing that I do a lot of is, is quick pitches uh, and things like that. Now, you're going to hear me talk about this a lot. Fourth and two scenario here, um, I don't mind taking a five-yard penalty because it's a chip shot field goal. So I'm going to come out and at least give it a look, at least give the, um, you know, impression that I'm willing to go for this. And, and, and really the idea is I want to see what... Um, what he's going to do. So, um, just kind of get a look see here. We only have eight seconds, unfortunately. For I don't know what to do with the play playcock is this year, but I I feel like the playcock is really trimmed down a lot. Uh, it actually gives me a good look. I'm gonna take this look for the quick pitch. See if we can get outside with with Reggie Push. I don't know why he's in the game. Like I said, ton of substitution errors here opening up. Had to burn To because of it. Um, but. The reason I come out and look at it is because if I, you know, if if worse comes to worse and he gives he gives me a look that he could probably stop my quick pitch or my inside zone or anything like that, um, you know, then I'm willing to concede that and I'll just take a five yard penalty, and um, and, and be fine with that. Uh, for the most part, I'm I'm normally, I mean, it's normally very reasonable to me to just take that five yard penalty, kick a field goal, and be fine with it. Um, I think that football is about. Um, Football, especially in Madden, is is a lot about the uh, possessions of the game. So, you know, that's really what we look look to here. Um, here, he gives me a good look for uh, a nice quick pitch, and uh, and we'll take that. But um, one of the things, real quick, uh, while we take the extra, uh, or actually, we like to go for two here, uh, and the reason is because I just feel like my goal line offense is really really good. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in it. Um, so that's why I like to go for two. I just have a lot of comments. In fact, a lot of people don't know how to stop this quick pitch in combination with this inside zone. 
um, a lot of people's answer is to user it uh, you know and so we'll fit you know we'll, normally I have a lot of success with it you know and, and, and as you see there no different um, but really for a quick second here I want to talk about this real quick uh, I find Madden to be a game more so concerned with you know how you play certain possessions as opposed to how you play um, you know certain schemes uh, while schemes are very important um, or excuse me, not schemes, uh, touchdowns. Uh, so while touchdowns are very important, um, I find Madden to be more so about possessions because of the amount of time that's on the clock. And um, and I think that that's really important because we talk about one possession game. So uh, one possession meaning you're always one step from either tying the game or taking the lead, right? So in this situation, we would be in a one possession differential right now, right? So if he were to take... Um, if he were to take a field goal, however, um, you know, and go up by three, right? So if he were to, or excuse me, then I would be up by five. So it'd be eight to three, and I'd be up by five, right? If that were to happen, um, the interesting thing, and we're having some trouble here with our setups. I've had a lot of lag today, and I'm about over all this freaking lag. We almost get a pick, but um, on a little screen. But um, real quick, so. In a situation with possessions, I want to I want to talk about this real quick. When your opponent, um, you know, takes you out of your comfort zone, or I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm kind of rambling. Um, okay, so possessions, right? If okay, so say he scores a field goal, right? So I am now winning, right, by five, and I go down. I'm in the red zone, and it's like fourth down and and five, right? Well, in that situation, it's actually not, especially in Madden, it's not worth even going to, it's not worth kicking a field goal, right? So if it's fourth down, and I, if I take that field goal, it's still going to be 11-3, to three, and it's still going to be a one-possession game. If I don't take the field goal, it's still a one-possession game, right? Now he can take the lead. Now, obviously, later in the game, you know, that kind of changes. But especially early on in the game, um, I'm very, very uh, focused singularly on possessions and I think it's very very essential to to, to really be focused on that more so uh, and the reason is because it's going to give you an at bat for what's going to happen later on in the game um, and so that's why I think it's so important we are having a ton of hot route issues we may have to just get out of the 335 odd because we can't even freaking hot route I don't know what is going on. He's just walking right down our field running basic freaking plays. Little inside run. We can't freaking get on our user. We can't do anything right now. Uh, in situations like this uh, where, you know, you may be facing some some adversity, uh, I find it best to go to a two-man under of some sort right so here we go two men under and while it's not going to solve you know every issue you have um, it's actually not going to be too shabby um, you know against some things they're going to try to do I also try to they would get some pressure should have got a pick um, oh and this is the New England Patriots defense so if you want to, if you want to check out the defense that we have for you, um, you could check that out as well. Um, it's it's in the guide. I can't freaking set anything up. Pick that off. Nice play. So we end up getting a stop, forcing a field goal. See now that's a. In my opinion, I go for this uh, because you're still going to be down one possession upon. Um, you know, upon converting. So, uh, you know, for me, that actually makes an impact. Like I said, you know, if this was later in the game, obviously you take that field goal. Like if we, you know, say it's like third quarter, two minutes left, you take that field goal. But first quarter, I mean, I go for that. Um, now, that's controversial, and I know that. But uh, for me, 
you know, it's really not too too bad of a play call for me. Um, but this is my bread and butter right here. This is the shotgun snugs. Um, this is my favorite formation in the game. Uh, I actually based my whole Arizona guide out of this formation. Um, normally, I actually run it all game. I don't even really run the split close much anymore. Um, it's actually, for the most part, just this um, just this snugs. But um, the cool part about this, um, what you're going to see too is some game planning uh, by me. Now, I got the ball first, which means he's going to get the ball at the second half. So I don't really want to give him the ball back. If I can prevent him getting the ball back, I am going to take full advantage of that. Um, so my really concern right now is uh, to score with a, you know very little time left on the clock you know now we want to definitely get into scoring range of course so you know we're gonna work the ball down the field but once we get to about midfield we're gonna go into uh, a four minute style type offense and what the four minute offense really is around is 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 about is it's it, it's more so concerned with clock management so we're gonna check down we're gonna really try to manage the clock with our um, you know with our little um, little running set that we have um, but yeah I mean that's for me, that's really the best option. Um, get down into scoring range here. Um, but the likelihood of you getting the ball back, I mean, while it does happen some, it's not a frequent. It's its really the exception more than anything else. Uh, and, and by the way, guys, that Reggie Bush, and see here's where we're about where we're going to kind of check down into that four-minute style offense, but... The Reggie Bush I have, he's very inexpensive card, um, and pretty much everyone I have on my team is pretty inexpensive. Romo's probably the most expensive guy next to Aaron Lynch, um, and the main reason I have Romo is just because I can afford him. Um, you know, if you don't, if you can't afford Romo, the base Matt Ryan, the 84 overall with 90 deep throw accuracy, he's good enough. He's very comparable to Romo uh, in a lot of ways, uh, so I would recommend him. And he's only, I mean. <coughs> He's only like 5,000 coins. I think we just called a timeout on accident. Did we? Or no, we didn't. Okay. We are having a ton of freaking issues with the lag. But see this. See how this, this offense works. Um, the real heart behind it is running the football. But the key to it, and this is why... You know, I think it's worth noting. It's going to keep the clock moving. You're still going to be walking down the field, especially with, you know, if you have confidence in your scheme. Um, I think we got that first. Did we get the first down there? We didn't. Uh, fourth and inches. Um, you at least owe yourself one fullback dive. Um, you know, if he can defend this fullback dive, more, more, more power to him. Um, you know, but this fullback dive is where I will start. Um, every time now or excuse me quarterback sneak I, I go quarterback sneak first then fullback dive I find that people can stop the fullback dive more so than they can stop the quarterback sneak especially for inches um, and here we're just going to deliver uh, what I like to do is go right back to the huddle uh, and, and, and hit him with a PA the reason I like to do this especially if you have your reads down and of course we don't we go ahead and get freaking sacked so now we've got to get back in the snugs but um, if you have your reads down, that actually is not too shabby of a play call because you, you know, they'll be in goal line. Unfortunately, I didn't have my pass protection down. I should have just ran a three-person route. So second and long here. We're going to hit Keenan Allen over the middle here. Go no huddle situation. We're going to go with a little halfback draw. Like I said, we've got two timeouts. No hurry here. We're going to have a couple plays. We get down this red zone. The main thing here is to pick up the first down and then take a TO. So there's the timeout. Um, in this situation, we kind of did that. We took a really bad sack. I mean, that sack was a big deal. Um, not just because it put us you know, behind schedule in terms of our offense, but, but more so because it... It's going to change the way we're going to have to score because we're going to have to pay attention more towards an air attack. And I don't really want to do that. Here we get lucky and and Keenan Allen just drops it. So we make a great read against the cover two. Got lucky he wasn't user controlling that guy. 
and Keenan Allen just drops it. Now in this situation, you have to take your three. I mean, because you're you're from the seven and you've only got four seconds left anyway. So if you if you got the first down, you know, and like I said, this is a goal to goal situation with four seconds, so it does it changes a little bit. But if even if I got the first down. You know, if this was like a fourth and three or something from the 35, likelihood of me getting a touchdown is actually pretty slim, um, you know, especially from the seven-yard line. Now, if I was on the three-yard line, I'd go for that every single time. Um, it just kind of changes based on where you're at on the field, too. That kind of has some some say, too. Um, so, to you know, to just say only go for possession is probably a little bit vague, um, you know, more along the lines of it is very situational. But, you know, the idea behind it is kind of similar throughout. But like I said, we're having a ton of freaking issues. We're getting our setups in for stuff. Yep, I couldn't get my freaking hot routes in. He's going to run it. I find this 335 odd to be pretty solid against the run. Um, and, and the reason, <sighs> because, you know, I actually have a, a defense designed for the run, and you can find that in the guide. But, um,. You know, I'm finding this defense to not be too shabby. And he's running like a little mesh concept out of there, so we're going to have to sure that up a little bit. I think he's running, yeah, he's running mesh, just standard. A little inside zone again, and you see the formation just defends it really well, in my opinion. Like it, it's not gonna. You're not gonna get killed with it. Um, you're not gonna give up, you know, 40 yard runs. Uh, you'll give up two to four, um, but that's manageable. There's your fullback dive again. I think it does not too bad against fullback dive too, because it, you don't get killed like. This defense is one of those, like, you just don't get killed against the run. Um, and for me, I'm willing to kind of concede that, you know, we may have some, some issues against the run, but at the end of the day, we'll be fine. Um, it's going to force them into, you know, third and fours, fourth and fours here. Um, so in this situation, you just... You know, I go to a couple of different looks here, but the probably the main one is going to be this overload three sky press here. And we'll see what he does with this. And end up getting a fumble. He recovers it. He's got Jameis Winston in. I thought I put a freaking flat zone out there. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's because it was under center, so it kind of may have caused some. Some dis some discrepancy with that. Probably an inside zone. Nope. Going verticals. I find and also like for me, if you have a guy that has really high zone or really high man, like really high zone for me, because I run a lot more zone, you can actually get away with cover three in this year's game and I forgot to man him up Aaron Lynch makes a great play uh, third and eight I'm gonna try and send some fire and he's gonna roast me gosh dang it I feel like this may have been the worst defense I've ever freaking played. We can't freaking hot route, son of a biscuit. We seriously, we cannot make any freaking hot routes or adjustments. Wow, I'm in the backfield. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm willing to give that up. You know, I'm I'm 
I'm not, I mean, I'm not willing, like, I'm not going to, you know, I mean, I am willing to be okay with him scoring there because, you know, I feel like I did my job. I've never seen someone go to that play call. We end up stuffing it. I've never seen someone go to that on the two-yard line. Never. Interesting call by him. Terrell Davis is a freaking monster, though, by the way. I mean, he always goes forward. I, You know, I mean, Archer and McKinnon, they don't always – I mean, they, they get freaking rocks sometimes because they're just not that kind of back. Uh, here, this is money time for the offense. This is where the offense has to deliver. You know, in a game of Madden, you have a lot of – scenarios that are going to come up but the the key thing is being able to deliver in clutch situations you know that's really the key um, in this situation looks like he's sending heavy pressure so I'm gonna make sure I block my running back and I got a one-on-one -on -one. I think Allen's open deep and a one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker I don't know if they're gonna call me for pass interference or something well I end up getting a roughing the passer call and that was a big that was a big play by the offense right there. Um, so I noticed he was kind of, I don't know, it was like he, was sending, he was sending heavy pressure. I think he's, he's in a, I don't even know what he's running right now. Is this goal line? I don't freaking know. Never seen this before, but just kind of trying to prevent from the A-gap pressure is really my my thing. And I freaking missed a wide open X receiver. didn't matter because Hopkins has a really good spectacular catch rating. He's a budget guy too. Um, I go mix and match. Sometimes I go Benjamin. Sometimes I go Hopkins in that slot. Um, I like Hopkins for his route running. So here in this situation, I have the opportunity to go up two possessions. I'm going to take it and go for two. And he's not able to stop Dre Archer to the outside, even with the connectivity problems. I don't know if you guys can even be aware of, of this game. I mean, we are having some... Some, I, I, it's hard for me to I can't really do much uh, with the button presses so we're kind of fighting through some adversity here but um, but yeah um, and you see the offense come through like I said you know we got our reads down you know so if they're going to run cover zero we have a route specifically designed to beat that deep over the top um, and we end up calling the right play at the right time so there he goes one on one deep, and I mean there's nothing you can do about that. That that's just bad sixteen, you know, and 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 I'm all right with that at this point. I uh, because it's not consistent, you know. I mean it's it's consistently inconsistent. So like, you know, I I kind of trust my coverage rating, um, to at least attempt. And there we go. We should get that pick, or at least batted, yep. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I go back and forth between caring about it. We cannot freaking hot route anybody. So he's kind of dotting me up here. i got to work on this a little bit. Not able to get my hot routes in. I'm right there. I was right there. <laughs> what a game. Not going to lie, I'm pretty freaking frustrated with this game uh, right now. Because, I mean, I'm standing right there holding ball hawk. I got my player behind me for the double coverage aspect. And, gosh, for some reason, we just could not stop I me. Mean, we just couldn't make the play. Offensively, I mean, it's the same situation, you know, just with three minutes instead of five. Bomb wise, we go down score, we can win the game. Um, you know, we get stopped. He has an opportunity to go win the game for himself. So, you can't take three points here. This is, this is where you, this is where one of those situations where if I get in fourth and inches or fourth and two, you know, I got to go ahead and go for it. Especially if I'm on his side of the field because I can't make you know it's it's gonna be a one possession game either way I any either way I slice it so you know it kind of requires me 
They were able to hit Reggie Bush on that flat. Love that route. You know, offensively pretty efficient. I think we've thrown one incomplete pass. I don't remember who it was to. I think it was early on. Or no, it was the... No, we got sacked there. I don't know what we're... I don't know who the incompletion was to. So we'll see what he does here. Oh gosh, what an ugly read. Oh, what an ugly read. I had the read I wanted to the corner, and for some reason I got greedy and tried to go to the back. I don't know. That was just a poor play by me. Nothing to do with the route concepts. Wow. Gosh dang it, man. Tony Romo makes a bad throw. It's like you've seen this story before. Like in this game, like in Madden, like you make a bad read, your quarterback makes a bad throw. You know, he clamps down on you on third and ten, gets you in a fourth and two, and it's decision time. With 309 left, I mean, you don't punt this ball. That's the bottom line, and there's a big freaking catch by Keenan Allen. And that was the that was where we missed the read last time. We end up making the proper read this time, and it it ends up making you know making a big time difference for us. Gosh dang it! Throw the ball, man. Gosh dang it, man! We cannot even throw the freaking ball. This is a stupid freaking connection. I can't tell what he's in. I think he's in just a basic 3-4 set. I don't know. I just, you know, I'm just having to take what I can get right now because I can't freaking... I, I literally, I can't, I can't sit. I'm getting terrible throws. Finally, Romo makes a good throw for us. Now, that's a big first down. Now, see, now we're in a situation where with 225 left, see, most people would cl start clocking here. I kind of lean more towards going ahead and just running your, running your stuff. You know, whatever it may be, whatever your base offense is. I mean, I say run it because he's got three timeouts, you know, so. So it's kind of obsolete. There we hit Edelman on the play we missed him on last time. But, I mean, like I said, you know, this is, this is America's defense. This is cover two man. You know, this is a defense everybody has problems with. The Arizona offensive guide has come to play, um, you know, being able to beat this defense. Um, but, like I said, I mean, you know, the core of this, what you're seeing right now is precision. Um, you know, being able to beat man, beat man, beat man, is, is really paying off for us. Here we're looking to hit this flat route. Nobody's out there because he's forcing the forcing the the thing with the man coverage. Now see, now we're in a situation where we can start playing with his timeouts because um, uh, second and inches in this situation, you know, it's just straight you know regular football here. I mean, you're gonna get Chris Ivory in. Now what you're hoping happens. As he stops you on second down, and you can get you know like a third and inches look here, um, but you're okay. Obviously, you're going to take the first down if he gives it to you. And there, I think you get ahead and get a, get ahead and gave it to us. Um, so now this is where it starts to get a little dicey. You first and goal from your eight. You've got you know 151 left to play. Um, so this is kind of where you know you can kind of see some issues so we're gonna take this quick pitch out the problem is the problem is in this situation
the aggressive catch. I mean, you. I mean, uh, I mean, you have to be worried about that. You have to realize that he could, you know, change the course of a game with one play. So, I mean, you just have to be mindful of those things. So, really, you need a touchdown here. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I mean, you need a touchdown. And and he went ahead and stopped us. So we're going to go ahead and put in our back. Now, if you don't get the touchdown, understand what's going to happen. He's going to have the ball from the one-yard line. He's going to have to make it to the 40 with no timeouts, right? So, in my opinion, you go for it. Um, run a little inside zone here, and then you go for it. Good run by Archer. I don't know if he got in for that. Oh, man, what a run. So there, Archer just makes a play pretty much to seal the game. But, you know, like I said, I mean, you know, I go back and forth. I, get, I, I go back and forth. He goes ahead and concedes. But, um, you know, good little game there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That's a little bit of what Inside the Mind is. Like I said, it's... It's it, it's kind of a video that I love doing because I think it has a lot of value in it. And so if you watch for 30 minutes, you're going to get a lot of case by case scenarios come up, and uh, a lot of things are going to happen. So you know, definitely really appreciate this uh, from my perspective. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. But um, but yeah, that's what we like to do on you know I like to do these every now and then. So uh, really enjoyed this one. Make sure you check out those guides if you want. Like I said, um, they're ten dollars a piece. If you want to get both of them, you can get a bundle for fifteen. Um, you know, it's definitely, in my opinion, worth your buck. But. Uh